Couldn't have put it better myself. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. <laughs> that was exactly the words I was just thinking, Tally. But yeah, we can't just leave him here. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Well, from what you're saying with all this whispering, I am almost certain this guy's indoctrinated. But, just like with the other guys, just let him out and just... If, if he does try to come out of us, we're going to have to put him down. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? Simple. Yep, I def <laughs> Well, at least I put you out of your misery, eh? You overload that guy. Any more? Hmm, I'm saying there's a couple more. They're definitely not around here. Oh, they're down here. That's probably why. Well, I gave him a chance. I can at least say that much. And then I flung him against the wall. What do we have down here? Either way, they seem to know we're here. Getting a barrier up might be a good idea. And possibly Marksman too. Alright, Tally, can you be so kind? Hit overload on that guy. Gara, sabotage that guy's weapon. <laughs> I love giving my teammates, like, top of the range guns. It's just incredible. I honestly think at this point I could just direct my team and I could like go through this entire level without shoot like firing a shot just by directing my team where to shoot. Ooh, hello. Look at all this good stuff they've started to hide behind the wall. That's gonna earn me lots of credits. And omni gel. Hmm. Looks like I'm unable to go in there just yet. Is there anything around here that can help me in that room? Maybe I missed a switch or something up here. Huh. Alright, looks like with that room it's be to be continued with that room. When it comes down to it, if there's only gonna be like goods and stuff in there anyway, it doesn't really matter because I've pretty much got everything I need to. Why is it going so slow for? Take out those hostiles! All right, fine. Let's go take out the hostiles. Are you a hostile, Garrus? <laughs> Don't move. Yeah, I'm not liking how it's going kind of almost laggy. That does worry me. But as I said, I've been, I've been saving frequently just in case. All right, boys, what do we have? Two dead Geth troopers, that's what it seems like. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranath the Noctis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? 
<laughs> you can answer a few questions first, that's what you can do. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage too. Hmm, like those guys downstairs. When they said indoctrination, everyone thought Saren was doing it, not his ship. Actually, no, she told us it was our ship. We know this. You need to give us some new information here, lady. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. How do you know it hasn't already happened? I mean, you, you seem to be able to give me pretty explicit details on how it feels when you're indoctrinated. Got a feeling you might be already. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why he's researching it. Maybe he's becoming under the effects of his own indoctrination. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. So basically, it wants control over the person, but still wants them to seem human. <sighs> You've been helpful. It seems like you knew what you're doing. Oh, I don't know. I feel like you have definitely learned your lesson. <laughs> That's if you can even get out of here alive. Go on. I'm going to blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Oh! You enjoyed that, <laughs> Yes, I did, Garrus. Yes, I did. For some reason, the music seems like it's very loud in this game. Louder than their voices. Louder than it normally is. Oh, well, the joy of subtitles, I guess. That was me thinking there'd be something on these computer terminals. This place is an abomination. Saren's research rules. Let's see what Saren's got in his private... Was it private lab, was it? If it's just Turian porn, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Garrus might be happy, but I'll be disappointed. At least we haven't got Ashley here, so she's not going to get too close to it again. Time for Shepard to get too close to it. Shepard, we can't let them down. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> How about one of you guys go get raped by a Prothean beacon and then see if you're so eager to go help the Solarians? <laughs> oh my god. Give me just a time. Give me a fiver here just to recoup. This is not good. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the path of the sweet desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, command. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. <laughs> Looks like we just pissed off Sovereign. And this right here was just a great moment where you suddenly realized that Everything you've just been doing, trying to track down Saren, Saren's nothing. You realise that 
he's not working for the Reapers. The Reapers are just using him for their own goal. And Sovereign isn't a ship. <laughs> Sovereign's its actual is an actual Reaper, its own being, using Sovereign to its goal. And it's just it's a, as I say, it's a fantastic moment where you suddenly realise that, that realise that what you've been, you think you've been chasing this entire game, is just it's completely the, the opposite. Well, not necessarily the opposite, but. Yeah, returning from your position, Jay, I told you. Looks like Shadow picked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. No, oh, that didn't sound good for Kurahi. But it's just so much more than you think. I just, I think it's just a fantastic moment in the game. Oh, it's charge. Okay, apparently he didn't want to lay it. He didn't want to get on the boundary there. Boundary? You know what I mean. On the barrier. Okay, I'm able to do a double overload on this guy. Haha, <laughs> Krogan Warrior. You pose no threat to me. Especially when I've just got my overload on. Overload? Overkill. Look at that! Absolutely destroyed them. Anyway, no hanging around. We've got to try and get there and get this nuke off. Before Sovereign turns up and really destroys us. Because we can talk as much as we want. But Sovereign against Shepard. Shepard's good. He's not that good. Yet. Oh good, I thought the crew had sort of abandoned me then. The Solarians will do their part. Let's just make sure we do ours. Oh, there's no worry about that. Trust me. If there's something to be killed, I will kill it. Well, I'm still going to take loot on the way. Whew, good timing. I was just about to say, let's give this one a save before we reach more enemies. <laughs> so I think we got to that save point just in time. Oh, so why are we at it? Looks like we can upgrade our squad too. Was it just one point again? Where did I stick that squad? Oh, that's it. Uh, tactical armor. That's where I was sticking it in for Shepard. Sticking in for Shepard. Uh, <laughs> uh, salt training. Yep, let's get the advanced adrenaline burst up for Garrus. And Tally, I think we were sticking it in dampening for you. Just because, why not? See, they're all talking so quietly. I don't quite understand why. Right, marksman. Oh, can you two hit an overload on that guy or is he no he was in the right position good good where's that Krogan warrior at there he is let's lift him up and let's say goodbye to the Krogan warrior <laughs> see you later Krogan let's, take rid of, let's get rid of some of these rocket drones before Oh, it takes two or, two or three of them to get a, a shot on target. Whoa! And that's the end of us. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't done it more through this walkthrough. Sending, <laughs> sending people off into space like that. It's just so much fun, but it just completely slips my mind when I'm in the middle of a firefight. Oh, it's just a container that's fell over. Deactivate the turret controls. Oh, looks like they weren't done with us. Oh, where else you got for us? Uh oh. Can't shoot us while you're in the air now, can you? Now it's our turn. Oh, Kurahi's back. I thought he'd sort of bit the dust. It sounded like he had. Speaking of biting the dust, Garrus. Okay, wherever he is, he's dead, dead. Because I just re I just revived him, and he didn't get back up. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he must have been. He must have been crushed somewhere. Oh, that's much better. He must have been crushed somewhere because I revived him, and he died straight away. Maybe Garrus had glitched outside a rock or something. Either way, he's alive now, and that's all that matters. Some 
first aid. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Whoa! Right, stop jumping. As I say, I think I've said it before, but with these jumpy guys, the best thing you really to do is to sort of get a lift on them or something like that. See that way, if you got get them up in the air, then they can't be running around jumping every running around jumping everywhere. They can't be jumping everywhere. So best thing to do is get a lift on them, get them floating in the air, so then that way they're stuck in one position and take them out before they hit the floor again. Charge set. Everyone, bunker down. Bunker down. There he is. Come on, Joker, where are you? Bingo. is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. 